You know, as consumers, we're so used to getting ripped off now that not only do we come to expect it, there are also people defending the recent decision from Rockstar by saying things like, oh, this happens all the time. It does happen all the time. And that's a problem, and I'm going to talk about it. Rockstar just announced that Red Dead Redemption, the original game from 2010, is coming to the Switch and the PS4, with PS5 backwards compatibility. And the problem with that is that they're charging 50 US dollars for it. I don't know what it's going to be in pounds. Probably about the same. They don't normally do conversion rates. It's probably going to be about 50 pounds as well here in the UK. But that's a problem. Because this is a 13-year-old game. And it's not even like they've done anything else to it. This isn't a remaster. It's not a remake. They're literally just taking the original game from the PS3 and putting it on the PS4 and the Switch. They called it a conversion. It's a port. There's a few language options, which I suppose is nice for people who speak those languages. But for everyone else, this is literally just going to be a direct port. They're literally just taking Red Dead and putting it on the Switch and the PS4. And they're charging £50 for it. It's not even going to be like technically more impressive. It's still going to run at uh, 1080p. And it's going to be locked at 30 frames a second. Do you know how bad that is? If I had an Xbox Series X, which I've been meaning to get, but I haven't got around to buying one yet, and I bought an Xbox 360 copy of Red Dead Redemption, which is really cheap, put it in an Xbox Series X, and it would play at 4K. Okay, yeah, it's locked at 30 frames a second, but if they weren't going to give us 4K on the, PS, on the PS4 port at least, then they could have at least upped it to 60 frames a second, because I think even the Switch could handle that. But instead, they're just going to give us 30 frames a second, 1080p, Red Dead Redemption... And what's even more ridiculous is that Strauss Zelnick said that this is commercially accurate pricing. No, it's not. Uh, what commercially accurate means in this context is we can get away with charging this much, so we're going to charge this much. Do you want me to tell you how you actually work out commercially accurate old games? Go to any used game shop. We're going to use CEX as the example, because that's the most prominent used game store in the UK. I know it's officially called Sex. No one calls it Sex. I call it CEX. Everyone else calls it CEX. It's, it's a thing. Right, let's go to CEX's website and have, let's have a look how much the PS3 copy of Red Dead Redemption is. So here we've got Red Dead Redemption at CEX, second hand for £5. Now I know, okay, this comes bundled with the Undead Nightmare, so let's have a look and see how much Undead Nightmare costs to buy at CEX. Another £5. So for £10, you can get both Red, De Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare. Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably sitting there saying, well, this is a PS3 game, PS4 games do tend to cost more, so let's have a look at that then. Uh, let's use another... Rockstar game. Let's take GTA 5 for example. Let's have a look at the price of GTA 5 on the PS3 at CEX. So the PS3 copy of GTA 5 sells for £3 and the PS4 copy sells for £18. So we're talking a £15 difference there. So let's say uh, you know they wanted to double the price, triple the price of Red Dead and Undead Nightmare from a second hand shop. I'd say tripling the price is probably the most the absolute most that should be charged for this 30 pound i'd say fine i wouldn't even be making this rant 50 pound that's five times the price of just buying red dead and undead nightmare on the ps3 and just having those we're talking five times the price that is not competitively accurate or commercially accurate whatever strauss zelnick wants to say um that's just ripping people off and you know for a fact that when the PC port port inevitably gets released, they're just going to charge £50 for that as well. So, we're in a situation in the game, current gaming world where companies will overcharge us ridiculous amounts of money. They'll sell us mostly, most of the time, broken games. I mean, I don't even have to look away from Take-Two for this. We just have to look at Grand Theft Auto, the Definitive Edition, the Trilogy, or whatever they called it. I never even bought that. Because I didn't want to buy even a remade game. They, they weren't remasters, they were remakes. Um, even if we look at something like uh, The Last of Us Part 1. I'm sure it's an amazing game. It's a remaster of a game I played 10 years ago. I didn't buy it for the £70 they were asking for. That was a rip-off, but at least they put work into that. We're talking about something that's £20 less than that remaster. And it's literally just a port. Rockstar, once again, are holding a gun to their players' heads and saying, Pay up now. And don't have the nice thing. Like, if it was a remaster, fine. £50. Charge more than that if you want to. It's a remaster. Or a remake. You know? That's all fine. That's what people wanted. A straight-up port should not be this much. That is almost the price of a... Or in some game, in some cases, that is the price of a brand new game. I bought AEW Fight Forever, a brand new game that released in June for £50. Not a game that's 13 years old. There are lots of games that release at £50, and they're brand new games that I've never played before. 
I would like to play Red Dead Redemption again. I don't have a working PS3. But funnily enough, if I go to many second-hand shop places, I can pick up Red Dead and Undead Nightmare and a PS3 for about what they're charging for just this one port. And I think it's time that players just start talking with their wallets. Don't buy this shit. Don't buy it. And to anyone who's going to comment and say, oh, what's it matter to you? Just don't buy it. I'm not going to. Unless it comes down in price. I'll probably buy it when it's on sale. But it has to be a big sale. 50% or more. And it'll inevitably come to PlayStation Plus one day, probably. But it's not the point. We should be pushing back against this stuff. And Rockstar sitting there saying it's commercially accurate. We're the ones who get to decide what's commercially accurate. The consumer does. If we don't buy it, then it's not commercially accurate. I don't know what else I can say in this video. I just needed to rant. Rockstar really, really need to realise that the, these companies need to realise they work for us. They're the ones who want our money. This is a joke. It's ridiculous. Rockstar, sort it out.